Hey guys, I'm back with another show review. Um, this one's going to be something a little bit different. If my number one love in life is heavy metal, then the number two love for me would be pop punk. Uh, way back in the day before I got into heavy metal, um, I was super into pop punk. Um, and I'm not talking about like Descendants or anything. I mean like Blink-182 radio pop punk. So that kind of helped me get into music, kind of like taking music seriously and everything. So it's always kind of had a special place inside me. Um, so I've, I've gotten back into it recently, and uh, I've grown a little bit more fond of like the old school fun pop punk style instead of like the more serious kind of emotional pop punk that's really, really popular right now. Um, and I think the best band in that style, the kind of fun catchy throwback pop punk style is Mast Intruder, who was in town last night, if you can't tell by my shirt. Um, so yeah, Mast Intruder is a four-piece, uh, they're signed to Fat Rec Chords, which is uh, home to a bunch of bands like No FX and Teenage Bottle Rocket and stuff like that, and that's kind of like their sound, you know, um, old MXPX, uh, just old, fun pop punk. Uh, so they were at Vandals, which is where I saw a cross-examination a few weeks ago. Vandals is just a, it's just a room, really, uh, tacked onto the back of a little tavern. It's just a room, but, uh, you know, it was loud, it was, it was good sound, and a really good crowd. So opening the show was a band called Deco Auto, which is, they're a little bit more in the style of Mast Intruder. Uh, so, kind of like older, uh, pop punk. I actually thought they kind of switch between like old MXPX style pop punk and then like newer it also was like surf rock kind of stuff and they kind of combined the two on some of their songs but uh, I really dug them um, really good uh, guitar melodies from them and uh, I think they're really awesome I, I definitely want to check them out some more um, and then the second opening band was this crazy band called Drop a Grand um, more more kind of like in the garage rock style um, but they were insane. Uh, their guitars were kind of, um, I don't want to say like quiet, but maybe like more fuzzed out, like if that makes any sense. Um, their bass was really like, he, the, their bassist was playing it like a guitar and it was so like heavy and thick sounding that that was like the main component of their music. Um, but yeah, Drop a Grand was, uh, like really crazy, but again, like kind of in like a garage rock style. So a little bit more like uh, I don't know, like catchy. Uh, I don't know. I can't really explain it. Um, Drop Grand. They're 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 weird, but I like them a lot. Uh, but yeah, so Mass Intruder headlined. Um, if you've never heard of Mass Intruder before, their shtick is they play with masks on, and they kind of have like a their their whole songwriting is. They're a band that was in prison, that's out on parole, and all they sing is like sappy love songs. So uh, they had uh, Officer Branford, who is their parole officer, is, is this you know this police officer standing there with his arms closed, and he's like flipping off the crowd and stuff like that. And uh, the the banter between Mass Intruder and the crowd and everyone is is perfect. I don't think I've ever heard a band like crack jokes and interact with the crowd that well before. So uh, their thing is like Officer Branford, you know. He's he's st standing there with his arms crossed for the first like like third of the show, and then he just goes crazy. Every single song he he was in the pit, moshing and like grabbing people and like jumping them down with them. Uh, it's it's a little thing like that that made the whole show like a little bit more engaging. Um, like cause like there's way too many shows, especially with like smaller bands like this, where like people like they they're too, I don't know, like, too self-conscious or something, just, like, standing there. So it's really nice that, like, Mass Intruder has a built-in, like, fix to that problem as in Officer Branford. Like, he was really fun. Like, he came up to me, and we are all all singing and stuff. It, it was just really fun. Um, Mass Intruder played 20 songs. They played almost every song off their first album, and then a really good chunk of songs off their newest album, and then uh, they're asking for... Uh, for requests, and I was like, ADT Security, and they're like, no, that song's stupid, that song sucks, okay, here's a song, it's called ADT Security, so I'm like, oh, that's cool, so they kind of played my, uh, that, that was really the one song I really wanted to hear, so that was cool that they played that for me, 
Um, and then they did a cover of the Outfields Your Love, which is like, <laughs> like that's like that's like an '80s rock. I don't even know, like an '80s pop rock one hit wonder that they transformed into this crazy pop punk tune that everyone was singing along to. So it was really cool. Um, but yeah, the crowd was great. Lots of movements, partially in thanks to Officer Branford. Um, and, uh, lots of singing along. Um, they brought up a girl from the crowd to do, uh, the female vocals on their song, uh, Heart Shaped Guitar. And she was great at it. And, uh, she knew all the words. And, uh, it turned out a lot better than, uh, some of the other kind of crowd duets I've seen. So yeah, I had a great time. Mass Intruder is one of my favorite pop punk bands right now. Their new album is one of my favorite albums released this year, so I was really, really looking forward to this show a lot, and it did not disappoint in the slightest. Um, one of the best show, one of the best pop punk concerts, if not the best pop punk concert I've ever seen. Um, all right, that is it for me. I will have some more reviews and stuff like that coming up. Bye.